Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Tavini and my specialty is family medicine. I went to the University of Texas at Health Science Center in San Antonio, what we like to call UTESCA. I was born in Odessa, but by the time I graduated from medical school, I had spent more than half my life in San Antonio by about two years than I did in West Texas. I actually was a small child, high school was in Stanton. So, you know, driving through from West Texas to San Antonio, we always came on I-10, and I was familiar with Kerrville at a very young age because to me it was whenever I was uh, close to home. There was a one hour drive between there and then when I'd be with my family in San Antonio. So I remember looking at the exits to Kerrville and I remember seeing the hills and thinking, that's beautiful. I wonder what it's like there. And then when the job opportunity came up to bring me from North Texas, which is where I was before moving here, I was like, I want to check out that place. There's so many things I love about the Texas Hill Country. My first one is the hills. <laughs> I like the fact that you can go out for a walk and you have all these different uh, ways of getting some exercise and just going up and down these little hills. I love the natural bodies of water, so rivers, the Guadalupe here in town. Um, I love that it's super close to San Antonio, um, but it's far enough to be away from the traffic. Number one thing I enjoy doing when I'm not at work is spending time with my family. I actually have uh, twins. They're six years old now, boy-girl twins. And I have a very supportive husband, so I enjoy pretty much when I'm not at work, I'm with those guys. And we like to do a lot of things in nature, so we uh, recently bought some kayaks. We like to get out on the river. We like to go hiking, assuming that we're not going to melt in the weather. Um, and spending time, just anything in nature, and reading and working on fitness, staying active. So family medicine to me is really exciting because you get to treat patients of all ages. And it's very often said that we treat um, across generations. So having patients as young as, you know, infancy for some providers, I usually see about ages two and up, but young children all the way up into geriatric ages. And I like the opportunity to be able to follow my patients there's a certain continuity of care. I did do ER previously, and in an ER setting, you get an in and out, you're done, you know? But you don't know the end result. In family medicine, you can have that continuity. You can know, okay, I saw you when you were acutely sick. I'm seeing you now when you're better. I'm seeing you and talking about prevention. And so it's just a lot of different diversity in terms, it's not the same thing, it's not the same type of patient, and the visits aren't all the same as well. It's a little bit of variety there. Some of the best things I do in my field would be probably procedures. I think it's fun to be able to do some things with like needles and such, but you're not like in an ER setting where it's like a life or death situation. So joint injections, skin biopsies, procedures are a lot of fun. And then again, being able to work around a different a variety of patients I think is also fun. So you can go in and you can put on your pediatrician hat and talk to a small kid and you know, very different than how you would talk to maybe somebody who's facing a lot in their life, dealing with chronic pain or other chronic issues. Um, so I think the best thing is just, again, the diversity, I'd say. One of the biggest things I'm grateful to Peterson for is that they found me in a very interesting time in my career and um, they provided me with an opportunity to continue patient care in a community-based, non-for-profit setting. And it's very important to me because when I was a resident at Texas Tech, University over in the Permian Basin, we had a lot of training regarding community. They, they actually called the program Family and Community Medicine. So community outreach is important. And to me, to be able to continue taking care of patients in the setting where you can see there, there's a fierceness, willingness to remain independent, I think that speaks mountains to the community and the people who are a part of this organization. It makes me so happy to be here.